Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to our interview with Kamal Powder. Uh, the, he's one of our past uh, clients. And we're going to learn a little bit about him and his experience in coming to Canada. So I hope you enjoy. By the way, his birthday today. So I, ha I hope everybody just in the comment section on the YouTube can make uh, some con greetings and congratulations to, to Kamal. So welcome, Kamal. Thank you for taking some time with us today in, uh, during your birthday. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, thank you for having me here. I, uh, uh, I'm actually originated from, uh, originally from Nepal. And I moved here on 2015. And then uh, Andy is the one who helped me to move over here. Yeah. Uh, I, I was actually working in Dubai before. So I was working in fast food in McDonald's as a manager. So I applied in Nexus Canada. I sent my CV. I think after six months or within six or one year in between, I got a response that they have a opportunity to work in Canada. So it was my like a, like a dream country, you know, because I I born in underdeveloped country like Nepal, and then it was my dream to move here. And then it got you know when he responds me that he have opportunity opportunity for me i was so happy okay and then... that's, that's very nice so come out sorry to interrupt you but you said something about what's your dream what about canada uh called your attention to come to canada what, what since did you learn about canada you decided to 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 come in, to come to canada oh yeah because when, uh, whenever I was like uh, searching something about Canada, like that, I, I used to find out that it's very peace country, and then the living standard, and then in health and care conditions are very good here. People are very friendly. Those things I, you know, and I always compare. It's not good, but I always compare U.S. and Canada. And <laughs> if I got an opportunity to opportunity to get into both countries then i will definitely choose canada i was thinking since there since that time oh that's very good that's very good mm -hmm. canadians will be very happy to hear that <laughs> so but before you learn you're working in dubai so you moved from nepal to dubai to work there uh, in mcdonald's if i know i i, I recall and yeah, how do you find the job posting the opportunity with nexus canada how do you find it uh like you mean how was the process like difficulties like that or yeah, yeah how do you find it how do you learn? oh there's an opportunity in canada here how do you find us yeah well it was exciting like oh that's my dream country and then i got an opportunity to work in the same field that i was working earlier in dubai so it's exciting so i was i was fully confident that i can make it i can do something there like oh, okay and then since i yeah, yeah so since i moved here as a as a um, supervisor, shift supervisor, and then I got raised on my salary within like one year, and then I got a position for store manager as well. I even handled the store here. Oh, that was very fast. Yes. Congratulations. You did a great job. Thank I mean, you. so you can start as a supervisor, and then you were promoted right away to a store manager, eh? Yeah. So that was good. But my question is, initially, how do you find the job posting? How do you find about the opportunity? Because I know we know that you wanted to come to Canada, but how do you find yeah. a newspaper, in a website, no, in no, a no. video? It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's like I, I submitted the my I submitted my resume earlier in 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 Nexus Canada. That's what I because I applied in too many places, so I don't <laughs> like I don't uh, like uh, remember everything. But what I know is I applied earlier, and then maybe. You guys, uh, Nexus Canada didn't have opportunity that time, but later on, after six months or eight months within that time, time period, I got a response that, hey, we have an opportunity now. Oh, okay. That's, that's do you good. want to continue? Yeah. Do you want to continue with us? No. Oh, so that was by email, eh? <laughs> yeah. You got an email from us. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So it means that you cannot give up. If you don't get it now, it doesn't mean you won't get it later on, eh? That's basically what you're proving. To be consistent. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. That's, that's good. good yeah. So, one thing, what was the most difficult situation during the process that you have? Like, okay, you got the, the, the content information for, for the job and you apply for the job. What was the most difficult part for you? Yeah, actually, you know, Canada is too cold and then processing also in the, the processing application processing here is cold also. It's not it's not warm enough. Like it's not too fast and or it's actually slow, I I would say it's actually 
too slow the processing the government processing and on that period of time like when we have like when i came from nepal to dubai it was like maximum 6 month everything is done all the process you got a visa already in your passport but okay. when you are apply to canada sometimes minimum it takes 9 months or 1 year or more than that yeah so in between that you are thinking oh when i apply to dubai it was too fast and too smooth but maybe i'm not getting my visa maybe i'll be rejected like those things <laughs> comes in your mind a lot yeah yeah i understand yeah the the problem i remember i remember what happened actually it's just that during the time that you were applying there was a the moratorium to the work permits at that moment the government stopped taking uh, temporary workers until they revamp the whole program and that's why it, it doubled the time that it normally takes to do the process so that that was what happened actually in, in that year in 2014 if uh, 13 14 that was uh, the year of the moratorium but since got seems a little faster right now but you were patient and uh, as you said when you're taking too long you start thinking oh my god I didn't get it. Something yeah. happened. The employer changed their mind. They don't worry anymore. Yeah, yeah. But that was not the case. At least you, you keep on uh, your perseverance and eventually you got it. So tell us about the experience. Once you got your, your approval, how was that day? Tell like when you got the, the communication that you got the work permit. Tell us about that day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was it was mm -hmm. actually, it was my, it was, it was my birth, birth month that time. Oh, okay. I think May 1, May, May 9 is my birthday, 9th of May. And then first May, I think I got your email. I still remember that was my birth month. I remember. And then when I wake up in the morning, like I always, since I apply, I always, when I wake up in the morning, I'm always checking my email. Okay. That's my, that's my usual routines. Always before I go out to my bed, when I open my eyes, I will check my email. And that day, first or second of May, it was my birth month. And I, I have a positive vibes in my, you know, in my mind that, oh, this is my birth month. I might get my oh, visa. Oh, that's good. And then, yeah. You, yeah. you prove it was right. Morning, yeah, you were, it was true yeah. because you got a confirmation yeah. during the month. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, in the morning, and then I got an email from you that, hey, come on, congratulations. You got your work permit approved. Oh, my God, that made my day, you know. I was so... <laughs> what do you I do? So... After you got that, 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 that news, what do you do? You tell your friends, you call anybody, family? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I message to my close friends. Hey, I got this one. I got this one. They congratulate me. It was very nice. Well, it was, you know, that, that morning, I will never forget. <laughs> but I imagine <laughs> that when you talk, talk to people, like, do you tell somebody, hey, I'm doing this process. I, I think I'm gonna get to kind of apply for an employer. Do everybody believe you before that, that or not? Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, other things. Uh, before that, before Nexus Canada, I applied with someone else. I think I told you earlier that one. And then I even paid ten thousand dirham. That is like almost uh, how much you say? Maybe one thousand, two thousand dollar, fifteen hundred to two thousand dollar. I paid to someone for process and then he did not do anything. He stayed out of contact and then he did not return my money. Also. So the scammer. So you, you have a scammer, yeah, yeah. a scammer. Scam, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. God. That was also, you know, that was also pressuring me when I was uh, doing process with the Nexus Canada. Oh, maybe they, they, they will be the, the scammers. same. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, scammers. Mm. I was thinking like that also. And that's why, because of that, that I paid someone and then he didn't, he didn't process me. That, that was like one year before. Because of that, my some of my friends was thinking, oh, it will be the same. You know, you will not get a chance. Okay. But it's like very good. They, they were thinking. It's a very good thing that you say that, Kamal, because I know, especially in Dubai and that area, people are working, looking for other opportunities. There's a lot of scammers. There's a lot of people that promise you the heavens. And they tell you even that you're going to get a job even we haven't having no interview with the employer in Canada. So uh, it's good that you say that because we want to say to our listeners, be aware of a scammer. The people that are going to promise you ha yeah. they, they, they have an employer, they're going to have a, you have a job already, you're going to earn so much money even without even having a resume or, or interview or anything. So yeah. you have to be very careful because there's a lot of people that are scamming people and taking the money. Uh, from people like, like, like you, like foreigners, uh, uh, workers that yes. want to look for a better opportunity. So be aware of that. So but the best advice will be for those people, just check the company that is saying that they're going to offer you a job or contact you for a job. 
you need to check if they are legit. If they, you know, you need to go to the website of, uh, in, the, in the case of consultants, if they're registered with the government of Canada. If they're not registered with the government of Canada, and they don't have testimonials of people that really can say, yeah, this is the real deal, don't don't give any money, not even one cent to those people because they'll just look into a scam you. Okay, but okay, so you got the information. You know, I got my job. Everybody knows that it's a real job and everything. Based on your experience, what was the difference between what you were doing in Dubai and what you were doing in Canada? How do you compare those two two, two experiences? Uh, in my experience, it's more harder to work in Dubai. Oh, really? <laughs> they are more, yeah. They, yeah, it's, 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 the jobs are more light here. Oh, you know? And what about the benefits? Do you see the benefits are? How's the benefit then? The benefits is better here. Okay, so you work less in Canada in comparison. Get I get more. Oh, yeah. That's that's, that's probably a win-win for you, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but that was in past year. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That was in past year. Okay. But now I changed my job, and then now I'm working so hard, and the the company is taking. So much work, <laughs> and they're paying. They're paying better than the fast food. Yeah. So That's you cool. would say that in comparison, you will if you need if you go back in time, you will do the same to come back to Canada. Do you think so? Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's not that you do it again without thinking, eh? <laughs> I never really said I moved here. Okay, okay. So that that is a good information. Uh, but tell me about then what happens. Once you get into Canada, you arrive to a small town in Canada. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, I, you know, when I came here, I came to uh, Saskatoon airport. And then when I see the town, because I was working in Dubai, you will see all the buildings there are touching the sky, you know. It's, it's, a, it's, it's all, a lot of cities. Buildings. Yeah, yeah, it's a big looks, city. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a city. Yeah. Like, like it looks like oh you are in abroad like you have a feeling that but when i came here in saskatoon airport and then someone picked me up from nexus canada or i forgot the agency of uh, ibbc but... that they, they have feel yeah, yeah. Work, we work with them yeah basically yeah yeah you and and you coordinate with them and they pick me up and then they they kept me for one day in the hotel and then they 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 work for my uh in what number social so so yeah yeah and then and then we moved to prince albert where i have to be like where my work was was yeah yeah. yeah i was posted there so when when we moved there and then on the way i see like all like in dubai we used to see desert and here is land <laughs> same like that empty empty spaces there's no houses there's no business there's nothing and then when we reach to prince albert it doesn't look like Canada, you know, the one I make in my mind, like <laughs> you were oh, thinking Canada, about Toronto, like, yeah, it's a yeah, built yeah, high Toronto, rise, yeah. Vancouver, yeah. or Montreal, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. And then I was thinking, oh my mm. god, it's like a village of my country. And then I was thinking like that. And then, but you know, now if you ask me, what do you prefer? You will, you prefer to live in Toronto or or uh, Calgary, the big city, or you want to live in the small city? But I prefer small city. Yeah. Now. Why do you prefer, yeah, and this is a good thing that you say that, uh, because you know that now there's some new rural uh, uh, pilot program now that are uh, attracting people f to small cities uh, in Canada, uh, because it's a big city. Remember, Canada is the second biggest city in the world. So it's a, yeah. th th there's a lot of land here, and there's a lot of yeah. people, a lot of small towns in between the big cities, there's a lot of small towns. So based on your experience, because you live in Dubai, that was a big city, yeah. And then you live in a small town in Canada. Why do you like a small town in Canada? You know, it's mm. it's like the big city is so crowded for me. What I feel mm. it's my in my experience, it's so crowded, and then you know, and things are expensive, like like rent, or if you buy a house, or if you go for groceries, everything, everything you have to pay like a couple dollars. Extra. So it's more expensive to live in big yeah. cities than in small. Yeah, cities. big city, and then mm. even because of crowded, mm. like you. Me, I like like very peace places, like less vehicles, not big roads. So you prefer Those that small town feel. Yeah, How do you yeah. find the Canadians? How friendly do you find the Canadians? Oh, they are they are they are far better than 
I should not compare, but they are far better than the people from Dubai. In the meaning of uh, they're very friendly, friendliness. very friendly. Okay. Yeah, friendliness, yeah, helpful. Do yeah. you find yeah. support when you came in to the small town? Do you find that people were like trying to help you out or yeah, for everything? Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're very good. Yeah. And I imagine may, probably you make some friends and just when you stay in yeah, small town. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. How was the experience dealing with people probably from different countries? How was the experience for you? Yeah, it's 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 nice. It's exciting, you know, to have a friends from different places like different country because in in canada you i think only in canada you will find that multicultural people like okay. in a small area you will find from everywhere <laughs> yeah, everywhere <laughs> and then and you will feel very good oh i have a friends from this country i have a friends from this country me i'm, I'm like that i want i want to make more oh you open yeah that yeah. yeah yeah i don't engage a lot with the people but i want to i want to make like couple friends from different different places and then be in touch sometimes. Do you keep like in that. touch with those friends that you made in in in, in, in Saskatchewan? Yeah, mm. yeah, still, yeah, because I think even you know Wilson. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell uh, you know, so the American Republic. That's for my country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> other one is from Mexico. There's one guy. He's in BC right now. <laughs> and then and there is some from Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you have friends for Please. Europe, Latin America, the Caribbean, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good yeah. thing. So, anybody yeah. from Nepal that you met uh, during your stay in Canada? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of Nepal uh, people from Nepal. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in Calgary, you will find a, a big community of Nepali people. Even in Prince Albert, where I stayed before, there was like twenty houses. Wow, <laughs> from people from Nepal. Oh, oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Whoever coming to come to Canada, they don't need to think. Oh my God, I I don't. Maybe I will not find the people from my country. They will definitely. They're already here. You're going to find somebody. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So what thing would you say to any people that, you know, is looking for a job? Like like the people that are in Dubai working, for example, that are where you choose a few years ago. What would you tell them about trying Canada? What do you say to them? Oh, mm. yeah. Before, before you start processing, make sure they are uh, genuine. Like, genuine, you know, genuine uh, yeah. Yeah. jobs, real genuine. jobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, real jobs. And the agency are genuine too. You have, they have to make sure because there are so many fake agencies that they will just take money from you and they will just run away. From That's, you. Today, they will get, they will, today you will get pay money for them and then tomorrow you appear. call them. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, they disappear. It's, uh, think about that first. And then before you move, if you got a uh, genuine... Uh, Genuine, what do you call this? Uh, company, uh, processing agency. Still, you have to prepare to come to Canada, learn the culture, and then make sure you can speak good English because English is the first. Very yes. important, very important. Yeah. Yes. All yeah, very of us I'm an immigrant myself. English yeah. is the and number then, one thing you need to. Master. Yeah. yeah. And then make sure what, like, what kinds of job you got, you have some knowledge about that. Make sure. You know what kinds of job you are doing in Canada, like those things, and then law of Canada, like when you come to work permit that you should, you cannot work somewhere else. You just have to work until you get PR to that company. Those things. Make sure you know something about Canada before you move here, and then you know about the work you are doing here. Like those. It's things. very important what you said. Like if an employer sponsors you to come to Canada, you need to make sure that you are loyal to that company. At least yeah. for the period that you're going to work, like your contract. Yeah. And of course, you might get your permanent residence. That's the plan. But at least yeah. try to do the thing the right way. So you start fresh in a good step in Canada because you don't want to have any complications or, or misunderstandings yeah. with employers. But again, yeah. you have rights in Canada. As a, for, as a temporary worker, also you have rights in Canada. And the law always will protect you if anything. Yeah. So just do the thing the right way and you should be good. Talking about your experience working in Canada, can you tell me the, the any comments from the employer when they start seeing you working? You know, how do they treat you? What do you have to learn? Any challenge? Any funny moment that you oh, I they won't forget this by for you know on when you were working in the first month for the employer? Oh yeah, mm. me because I had experience, long time experience. I have worked five years almost in Dubai as a assistant manager in McDonald's. So. So when I came here, when they saw my work, because some people they hired 
they train them for six months, seven months, eight months, and then they still didn't develop. But me, they just trained me for one and a half month, and then I start to handle the shift myself. And then my area manager, he came within one and a half or two months within that time and then he saw me working like that and he talked to me about the promotion already oh. within two months that's why i didn't have any you know i didn't have problems that's very good you work with spoke you know to them they saw your work yeah. you know you don't need to tell it by words they just saw you how you performed and that's it the yeah. promotion came right away so uh, yeah. uh, congratulations uh, that's a very good thing you know and you. and people sometimes don't understand uh, the impact that I have with employers, because what do you think is going to happen with the employer? See, okay, I broke him out from Nepal and he was an excellent worker. So the employer next time will be happy to hire people from Nepal yeah. <laughs> because you are the yeah. sales, you are the person who is showing that, that positive uh, performance. So that's a very good thing. What is the thing that you didn't know about Canada, but when you, come to, you came to Canada, it was a surprise for you? as a culture what do you what what things you can tell me like wow i was shocked i didn't expect this you know because one thing is to read about canada in the internet and one thing is to live in canada and experience the culture what is the thing that you said like oh and i think that was a surprise for me i think you know i didn't know about this do you have one of, no, most of yeah the, yeah most of the things this is not the the country from like from the moon this is not the country uh like apart from the world this is also included in the same world so there's nothing like surprising a lot like like more surprising but only the things i was surprised is because of the uh, infrastructure here okay the like, infrastructure yeah, thinking, okay. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> only that things that that surprised me when i when i was making like a map of my of uh, like picture of canada is different like tall buildings stuff, yeah Mon buildings. toronto it was in toronto all over the place <laughs> yeah and when I, I moved to saskatchewan especially saskatchewan is the i think this is the uh, this is the only city in this is the only province in canada have a lot of uh, residential areas then the buildings big big buildings yeah it's a lot of land in, in saskatchewan yeah, a lot yeah, of lands, and yeah. it's a lot of farming yeah, there. a lot of lakes yeah, yeah. What about the culture, about the food, the culture of our Canada that in your experience, something that you learned, something that you like, like, oh, I didn't try this, let me try this. So anything related to the food or the customs? Yeah. Especially me, I grew up in Nepal. So food I food I used to eat is like Chinese and then uh, Indian. Indian food. Those are the, I think those are the most popular <laughs> food in, in the world also. So food in Canada did not attract me a lot. Okay. But anything that you like, like okay, I like this. I like the oh, I like the coffee. Pudding, oh yeah, we have pudding. Yeah, <laughs> of course, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's very good. Uh, anything, any benefit? If you're gonna say, hey, Andy, these are the benefits that I think I got from coming to Canada. If you can mention me three benefits, which are the benefits that you compared to what you were doing in Dubai, you would say that you got better in Canada. Oh yeah, first things, better lifestyle. Okay. How do you find how do you find your lifestyle? Like how do you say what do you mean by your lifestyle? What do you do different from Dubai? Like, like if you work in Dubai, it's very hard to like own a vehicle. Okay, buy a car. Own yeah. A house. Yeah. Mm. Own a house, you know, get high paid like that, like like in Canada. Uh, it's very hard there. What do you like? What do you like about that part of getting buying a stuff or getting a pay how was your banking experience it was difficult to get a bank account in canada or was it very easy no it's, it's very easy because because nexus canada helped me when i came here and i have a same bank until now okay and they are very good yeah they are very good and then it's, it's not too hard not not too hard i don't say not too hard it's very easy. yeah i know I, I ibc in in saskatchewan they do a great job when it comes to helping yeah. the the, the yeah. workers to to sell in saskatchewan and we got oh, yeah, to pray, give a praise to them for that excellent work. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, yeah. another thing that that was one benefit. So lifestyle, like it was good in comparison to Dubai. What other things you yeah. find as an advantage for being in Canada? Yeah, when I was in Dubai, I had to. I I was alone mm. there. Like I could not bring my family. They don't have family visa system there. You don't get PR there, and it's only visa. If you if your visa is expired, you can um, you can renew for two three times. I think I don't know, and then you can renew anymore. But here, 
you can bring your family you can you can be with family like a home like your own country you can feel like own country that you don't feel in the and i know that and i need to testify that to the people who are listening to this you got married you went back to nepal got married in nepal and then eventually right. you bring your wife and now you have a, a baby <laughs> That is already, yeah, yeah, that is already growing fast. Uh, it's a Canadian, yeah. totally Canadian. <laughs> so how the experience, yeah. very happy, yeah. how's the experience with them in Canada? How do you feel like a family life in Canada? Oh, it's very nice because, you know, when you, like, when you're alone, wake up alone and then cook yourself and then come back home and then stay alone, like, you don't, there's something missing yeah, on your yeah. there's something missing for yeah. sure it's all missing on life but when family is here that, that you are excited to come home like oh, okay when you are done with the work when you are done with the work you are you're excited to come home oh i have there's someone waiting for me i have a baby there waiting for me i have a wife waiting for me and then they will start to work also so you have a double income like both of you start earning and you have savings good savings if you do that like, like and then you can plan the futures better and your kids have a, a better like, future here better, yeah, yeah better <laughs> future here yeah, yeah the thanks. good thing about the canadian passport is is one of the most powerful passport in the world you can travel to a lot oh, yeah. of places once you have a passport right and oh, yeah, the true. other thing is about your wife because you were working in canada but she never been in canada before so when you get married and then you brought it to the, to the process you sponsor her how how was her impression when she came to Canada? What did she tell you? Oh my God! What did she tell you about Canada when she came to Canada? <laughs> oh yeah, she she was very happy. She she just finished her graduation in Nepal, and then she was planning to study further also, but she could not do because she had a baby. Right, just. But she will do it, and everything is possible once once in, yeah in Canada. But when she came here, when she when we go to newcomers, and then we talk about her opportunity, and she is very excited that she can study further. Okay. And whatever she wants, she want to work, she want to study, or she want to work and study both, or like she's very excited that that oh she she came in the good country. All right. And how was her experience during the first winter? <laughs> oh, that's, but but I I would say that. She never go outside. Oh, and yeah. Sometimes to shopping, yeah. She doesn't want to, to deal with to the snow, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it's 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 a uh, not only first, even after five six years. Sometimes you feel like, oh, why you moved to Canada? Only because of winter only. That is only the reason. <laughs> made it the only reason you might question <laughs> being in Canada, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially me, I I have to work outside. I'm working as a courier. Okay. So yeah. So I have to work all all day outside. It doesn't matter if it's minus forty or minus fifty or minus yeah. thirty. It doesn't matter. I have to work outside. So it's it's hard for me. It's hard. It's still hard. It's, yeah. At least yeah. those days. Hard for me in the beginning. Those, yeah, beginning of winter, but later on it will. Okay, okay. Exactly. That's why you say it's good that you say that. Like it's not like it's gonna be yeah. minus forty every single day the whole winter. There's gonna be days that are gonna be minus, but other days will be yeah. more manageable. Okay. Yeah. Have you been back to Nepal with a family? Uh, uh, since they came to Canada or not or not yet no, no, not no, yet no, are you no. planning to to go on vacation probably uh, mm -hmm. yeah not right now maybe after years yeah just waiting for the baby also to to be a little yeah, older little uh, okay all right that's that's a good thing that that, that, that you have in there and congratulations uh, uh, for that uh, Kamal. Thank you. Thank you. uh Thank you. any other recommendation because you talk about lifestyle working with the wife there other thing that you say this is an advantage of being in Canada in comparison to being in another place. Uh, yeah, the, those are the main, you know, major uh, advantage. Advantages, okay. You, you'll get a lot of advantage following that. You know? Okay, okay. Any tri healthcare? Do you find the healthcare to be okay? Oh yeah, it's 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 very nice. I think it's 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 uh, if it's even if you search in Google, you, you can find that Canada is. Almost in top five, I think, in healthcare also. How was your experience with you, uh, for you as a family with your wife having the baby in, in Canada? How was that experience? Did you find it was difficult because you don't have your family right now there. It's only you and her. Oh, yeah. How was that experience? Do you find support to help you through that process? You know, in Nepal, it's, it's more complicated than here. I even, I, I, burned, I grew up in Nepal, but I feel like it's more complicated 
there than than here. It's mm. more easier here. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to take care of your, even you don't need to take care of your child vaccination, this one, that one, you know, the medicine, what they need. You don't need to worry. The government worried about that. They will message you. They will email you. They will so email they have you. Okay. The, the schedule. You need to follow whatever yeah. they tell you and, yeah. and, and yeah. then you'll be okay. So you find that. Yeah, you just support. need to follow. On. You find the support. Do you have anybody visiting yeah. you when the baby was born? Any nurse? Any Somebody going checking on, on you guys? And the baby was born do you have anybody doing that oh yeah yeah it's it's, it's it's very supporting country like they will check everything in the detail from the pregnancy to you know okay having a baby everything yeah. do you happen to go to any kind of meeting for new parents do you have that kind of activities uh, done over there oh yeah yeah i i got a chance to go like they call me but i i had a work so i didn't get uh, I did not until now. I did not attend. Uh, but the this. choice was there. It was a choice for you to go and, and yeah, have yeah, a self meeting. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's very good. What about the baby? How do you think the benefits of being in Canada for the baby? What benefits do you think he, the baby has of being in Canada right now? But yeah, he will. He will learn to grow up in multicultural society. That he will be friendly with everyone. That he will not like. He will not grow up in the place where, hey, I'm a Nepali, this guy is Indian, this guy is this one, this guy. No. Everybody, human being, he will start, I think he will start to learn that oh, he's a human. And then he's also human. Even doesn't matter who, where he is from, where he's from. First things he will learn that one. Okay. So you see the, the will, quality yeah. of treating people. In, yeah, uh, equality. Yeah. yeah treating people and then second things he have a good good uh health care in the in this country so so that's the other benefit for him and then even the education system is very good here. oh yeah okay that's yeah. good that's good that's good so you feel that you your kid have a good future by you moving to canada with your wife and making sure yeah. that he's gonna live in canada okay yeah that's true all right so I wanna. I want to ask you uh, because I really I know it's your birthday. I want to. I don't want to take you so so much time from you. I know no, you need to celebrate with the family. What would be the the you big advice to people that are right now in countries like Nepal that are thinking about Canada but they're not sure? What is gonna be your message to them? Ever coming to Canada? Yeah. They are the yeah what well, we are they are thinking about it but I'm not sure but and then they're looking at a person like you that did the journey to come to Canada what is your better the best advice you can give them right now in their home country well, yeah most of the people who are in touch with me like uh, in Facebook and then any social media I always tell them that always first things you have to find out is the the agency you are processing or if you are processing yourself. I don't know, but if you are processing through any agencies, make sure they are genuine. And most of the time, me, I, I'm not in touch with too many agencies. I was in touch with one one agency, overseas immigration something. They were they came out spam, and then the second is Nexus Canada. So I don't know about too many agencies. So every time when anyone like who is in touch with me, they are asking me about. Uh, moving to Canada, I'm always suggesting them Nexus Canada because I only know that they're genuine because I came through them. My uh, your friends, wife, mm -hmm. my yeah, my wife also process through them too. Uh, that's why first things I would say make sure uh, the to find the genuine agency. Second things prepare yourself to come here, gather the documents what they need because. On, in the ongoing process, like you don't have something, you have some. If you have something missing, you cannot blame to someone else. It will be, it will like, it will be your mistake. So make sure whatever you need is it? when you are moving here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you gathered every doc, all the documents. Don't issue the fake documents. That's too, oh, yeah. too yeah, bad. Very you, bad yes. you cannot, mm -hmm. you cannot come back anymore. You cannot reapply anymore if you do that. Okay, G very good message. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you very much, Kamal, yeah. and thank you uh, so much for taking this time. Uh, if you have anything else to say, uh, just tell us. But thank you for trusting in Nexus Canada and, and us for you and your family. And I'm very happy that everything going well for you uh, and the whole family. And hopefully you have some time to visit Nepal with with them. I imagine the the grandparents are looking forward to to yeah. have the baby. <laughs> yeah, that's true.
So any final message for everybody? And then we can wrap this up for, for you. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Mm. What, what I can say is uh, if you are planning to come to Canada and if you are in touch with the Nexus, uh, give them time, uh, like for a couple months. And then if they if you are able to come, they will definitely help. Okay. You. All right. That's, that's, that's very true. Well, thank you very much for being part of this interview, uh, Kamal. Happy birthday again. <laughs> we wish you thank the you, best. Thank you, very much. thank you for that. And I know a lot of people will take advantage of your experience and learn from what your recommendations are. And probably they will come to Canada. Hopefully, it comes uh, uh, a dream come true for them. So thank you very much. Yeah, and have a great, great birthday. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye.